Newborn screening is basically a screening procedure wherein we detect uh, the inherited uh, inborn errors of metabolism. So whatever genetic gene based diseases are there, so we basically screen those diseases and uh, these diseases if they are turned to positive we actually can start treatment early so that it is prevented and uh, like it, it is not getting worse if we start the treatment early otherwise you know these uh, disorders if they are left untreated they even turn fatal fatal to the baby in india the population is being very high and uh, the incidence though it, till today we may are, we are not detecting we are not screening we don't know what is the incidence exact incidence but since after we started uh, detecting screening the babies it it is in fact turning very high very very high and uh, whatever these inborn errors of metabolism are there these disorders the rate of the incidence is the rate is increasing it's increasing to an extent it's like uh, surprising and shocking like uh, in among the sick newborns in the nicu we find many babies are having in inborn errors of metabolism and if these babies are left untreated definitely uh, it, it leads to a cause of uh, neonatal mortality newborn screening almost uh, now uh, with our facilities we can screen up to 117 disorders also among which uh, the top eight medical conditions which are there very very important and uh, life-threatening conditions also so con among which congenital hypothyroidism very very common and it's the uh, number one um, inborn errors of metabolism which is inherited absolutely necessary for, from my aspect because uh, if you don't screen your baby, it doesn't mean that your baby is uh, fine and absolutely free from any disorder. In fact, even if it turns positive, there is a treatment for everything. So it's necessary that your baby gets screened for these disorders. Newborn screening has to be done after two days preferably and within seven days of life. So if it is done within this period, the detection rate is good and uh, even the treatment modality if you start early, the results are good. If you delay it, it is also fine, better late than never, can be done even up to 5 years of age but before 4 months is really ideal. This test is performed either by two methods, only a blood based test or blood and urine based. Usually blood based is sufficient and uh, if in case any test is uh, uh, turned positive urine sample is also mandatory the screening tests uh, usually the results are out within from two to five days and uh, for the retest uh, it may take like if anything turns positive it may take another five days but usually within five days these results are out since past few years we actually are associated like uh, we are giving hand handing the samples to babies we are just uh, quite comfortable with their test results so they are doing good service. They have a specific, uh, su su separately allotted team for this, separately allotted and uh, the team uh, who is collecting the sample then processing and the test results which when, when they are out, uh, the doctor who involved, the genetist who is involved, he, he speaks directly to the pediatrician regarding the positive test and when even the test is positive, what is the diet required, what is the treatment modality involved, all this is uh, guided from their services. They have a separate team of doctors who are working on this. So it's like um, uh, they have integrated approach for this.